Hi, I'm Matea Muzzy. I'm 16. I grew up in Fairfield, California. And I'm going to talk about my mission trip to Mexico. I grew up going to a Christian church and I recently started becoming more involved in it. I went last year, the week after spring break, with my church and the point was to help an impoverished family who lives in Tecate, which was the location of the house we built. Tecate is right on the border between Mexico and California and it's, it's definitely not a tourist site. It's kind of run down. There are a lot of impoverished families, not a lot of people have homes. It's somewhat safe, but not the best living conditions. When we left for Mexico, we weren't, we definitely weren't expecting the best. We thought it'd be kind of a tough experience, kind of roughing it out, that we were kind of concerned for the family because they've been living, they've been living in kind of a little shelter for the longest time. We knew it was going to be hard for them to see them living like that. We stayed in tents on pretty much just a patch of ground in the middle of nowhere. I thought we were in the middle of the desert, but there were like a couple trees and there's some other, there were like two other churches there. And like every morning we'd wake up early, get the fire started, make food and then make lunches, head out, work on the house. And when we came back, um, one person had to make dinner every night. Um, I got, me personally, I got to spend a lot of time with the family because I was one of two people who fluently speak Spanish there, so it was kind of my job to talk to them and ask them what they need and how we can help them and kind of keep the, their kids occupied and help everyone out. The hottest day of the entire trip, I got stuck doing the roof with two other people. and. When we started, it, it was literally just like a piece of wood across the walls that we had made. And I think I spent about five or six hours up building a roof. And it was exhausting. I got tar and tar paper all over me, but it was super cool to see, like to get down off the roof after you built it and be like, whoa, I did that. Another one of my favorite parts were the puppies that the kids were definitely super excited about and super excited to show us. The day before we got there, their dog had, had puppies, like a lot of them, and the first day we got there, the first thing, as soon as the kids realized I spoke Spanish, they started mentioning the puppies and were like, hey, come look at them, and every day I got to hold the puppies and play with them for like 10 minutes. It was like one of my favorite parts of every day. We weren't allowed to touch the dogs, which made me really sad because I love dogs. And they were all super cute, like the cutest dogs I've ever seen. But we weren't allowed to touch the dogs because there's no way to take care of them. So they had a lot of ticks and bugs and they were afraid that if we touched them we'd get parasites and stuff. So we kind of stayed away from them. Except for the puppies. The puppies were, since they just, they'd just been born and the kids were taking care of them, they were pretty safe. My favorite thing about the trip was definitely the fact that I could spend it with my church and my friends. I think if I had gone there with people I didn't know, it'd definitely be a lot harder. Um, I also loved playing with the kids, it was one of my favorite parts. On the trip, I definitely learned um, a lot of new words in Spanish. It's definitely a struggle trying to figure out how to ask for the crowbar. Spanish didn't know what that was. I learned a lot about what they do every day, how they get by. I mean, their lives are totally different than mine. Definitely do have a roof over my head, running water. I mean, I, like, I live in comfort and seeing their, seeing the people in Tecate, the house that they had been living in, I realized like I've been taking it for granted and just kind of changed my outlook on my life. I'm actually going to be going back to Mexico um, 
the week after spring break to build another house. I really hope to be more prepared for this trip. Last year, I, since it's Mexico, I expected it to be sunny, kind of hot, and I definitely didn't pack accordingly because it rained a lot. So I'm hoping this year, I'm, this, I'm hoping this year we're all more prepared and we have a better plan so we can get um, more done in time. We almost ran out of time. I'm looking forward to hanging out with the kids again and getting to build another house for a family who's been living in poverty and just the idea of um, helping out a family who doesn't have a lot is really makes me happy. There was an all guys camp, like right by us, and, uh, and they um, every every night before they went to bed, they do this weird like Jack Squaw like call, and they'd all just like scream it at each other for like five minutes until they fell asleep. <laughs> they go Jack Squaw.